Hi guys, and welcome to the fifth review of our Ghost Weapon Review Series. Today, we are looking at the first available light machine gun, the Amelie, and what it will do in game. The Amelie can be unlocked for a certain amount of squad points, and has a variety of interesting stats working for it, so let's take a look. First off, the damage on the Amelie is amazing for light machine guns. The close range damage is 50, which is the highest in class, and the long range damage is 30, which is the second highest in class. This means the Amelie will always be a 2-4 shot kill, however the range is less than average. The 50 damage will stop at 13 meters, about maximum shotgun range, and the 30 damage will start at 40 meters, the lowest on all light machine guns. However, in the grand scheme of things, we didn't really notice this on the weapon. Next, the reload on the Amelie is pretty standard for light machine guns. The normal reload when you still have rounds left in the gun is 7 seconds. The empty reload when the whole mag is empty is 8 seconds, and the add time when the game registers the bullets are in the weapon is 4.9 seconds. These reloads are very long, but with a mag size of 100 and that outstanding damage profile, then you rarely need to reload. And it is best just to find a quiet corner when you need to and take a break from the game instead of trying to speed the reload up. The fire rate on the Amelie is actually very poor, coming in at 631, which is the slowest fire rate on all light machine guns and also most of the assault rifles. However, the slow fire rate means that the recoil isn't as severe as the recoil profile would have us believe. The profile is as follows, a value of 62 up, 38 down and 50 to either side. This means that the gun will generally jump up but may have a bit of sideways kick to it every now and then. The centre speed isn't incredible either, coming in at 1400. 1400 just isn't enough and the gun will definitely move on you. With the lower fire rate then the recoil control isn't actually that hard. Finally, the iron sights on the Amelie are actually quite clear and usable. They are fine for using the Amelie in a basic light machine gun setup, and an optic is generally not needed. Speaking of attachments, let's take a look. Up first is the red dot sight, which will replace the irons with a precision close range sight for easier target acquisition across all ranges. This can hold some value on the Amelie, as the irons can get a bit clustered at long range, but there are better options for the Amelie. Next is the ACOG scope, which will also replace the irons, this time with an optic designed for longer range. This is actually pretty useful on the Amelie, as paired with the foregrip this can turn the weapon into a pretty deadly anti-sniper weapon. Next is the holographic sight, which functions exactly the same as the red dot sight, only with a wider framed reticule which has a larger field of view, but a clunkier frame. It is entirely usable on the Amelie, but is generally outclassed by other optics, so has no place on the weapon. The red dot sight is good, and the ACOG can be useful, so why not combine both? The VMR sight has two levels of zoom, the default is the ACOG level, and the backup level is the red dot set level zoom. This attachment can be extremely helpful on the Amelie, as it makes it more versatile in all ranges. Next is a thermal hybrid optic, which is a long range optic and highlights enemies in bright white if they are not using the perk INCOG. This attachment is outstanding on the Amelie, if you wish to build an anti sniper class, something the Amelie is very good at. The last optic available is the Tracker Sight, which is a lower range optic than the Thermal, but also highlights enemies, this time with an orange outline. This can be okay on the Amelie. The knowledge the sight provides is hard to miss out on, but the frame of the optic is very obstructive, as it removes all peripheral vision. The first barrel attachment is the Flash Suppressor, which will reduce the amount of muzzle flash when you fire the weapon. In general, light machine guns have a lot of muzzle flash, so this attachment can actually be very useful, making the Amelie more useful in all ranges of combat. The silencer will function the same as the flash suppressor, as well as removing your sound signature and you from the enemy mini-maps when you fire. The only downside is that the range on the weapon is reduced, meaning you'll score 4 hit kills quicker. The range on the Amelie is already the worst among the light machine guns, so hurting it even more is not a great idea. The final barrel attachment is the muzzle brake, which will increase the range you'll score 2 hit kills. This is immense on the Amelie, as it is a very powerful light machine gun, so increasing the range of the 50 damage is a great idea. The first underbarrel attachment is the foregrip, which as mentioned should not be overlooked on the Amelie. This will make the Amelie outstanding at range, as the damage is pretty good and now the recoil will be manageable enough to full auto people at a fearsome range. A great attachment on this weapon. The final two underbarrel attachments from now on will be grouped together. Both the shotgun and the grenade launcher will take away your lethal equipment slot, which is already a hefty price to pay. Both can be pretty good on the Amelie, however, as with the shotgun you can bolster your point back performance, with the grenade launcher you can reach those pesky campers. The first mod for the Amelie is Extended Mags, which holds absolutely no point on almost any of the light machine guns, and the Amelie is no exception. This will be a waste of your attachment slot. Armor piercing will increase your bullet damage through materials against enemy aircraft and enemy armor like juggernauts. 
The Amelie already has a very strong round, so increasing their stopping power through cover is not a bad idea. Rapid fire is the final attachment on the Amelie, and even though the weapon has the slowest fire rate of all light machine guns, rapid fire is a bad idea. The recoil as it is is only controlled by the low fire rate, meaning that increasing the fire rate isn't going to help. The attachments out of the way, that brings us to the end of the review. We hope you enjoyed and hope you'll join us next time for the history half of the review.